We want to find the standard form of the equation for a hyperbola that has vertices at 0, 4, and 0, negative 4, and one focus at 0, 7. So let's go ahead and graph what we've got. So a vertex at 0, 4, and another one at 0, negative 4. Well, that's enough. These are vertices, but that's enough to let me know where the center is because it's got to be halfway between the two vertices. So the center of this hyperbola is at 0, 0. Also, I see that the vertices are vertical, so the transverse axis is here along the y-axis, which tells me the y-squared term is positive. So this is going to be y squared over something minus x squared over something equals 1 because the center is at 0, 0, and the transverse axis is vertical, so the y squared term is first. Now let's go ahead and put on a focus. Focus is at 0 and 7. So there's a focus. We know another focus would be at 0 and negative 7 then because they're symmetric, so there's the second focus. Now, let's figure out the rest of the equation. We know underneath the y squared, we need b squared, and underneath the x squared, we need a squared. So b is how far away from the center the vertex is in that x direction, and that's 4 away. So b equals 4, so b squared will be 16. Now, A is how far away in the x direction from the center we have the sides of if we had our guide rectangle, and I don't have that information. But I was given a focus, and the thing we know is the focus is C away from the center. So C must be 7 because from the center that focus is 7 away. My connection, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Let's put in the pieces we know. c was 7, so c squared is 49. a squared, I don't know, but b squared is 16, since b was 4. So now I can solve this for a squared. a squared, I'm going to take 16 from both sides, and it looks like that's going to be, a squared is going to be, 33. That's what goes up here underneath the x then is a squared. So here is the standard form of the equation of the hyperbola that meets these conditions.